doesn't love apple pie? In this episode, I'll show you how to make a classic American double-crusted apple pie. We'll talk about how to make a pre-cooked filling to thicken the juices, how to roll out a double crust and get the bottom into the pie pan, and how to seal the top and bottom crust together well. My favorite apple pie filling comes from my mom. It's a bit unusual in that I partially cook the filling to thicken the juices before I add it into the pie crust. I'm just bringing to a boil my filling ingredients. In the pot, I have my apples, some apple cider. I did hold off a couple of tablespoons for the slurry, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Brown sugar, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Just as my liquid starts to come to a boil, I'm going to combine my reserved apple cider with the cornstarch, stir it together with a spoon or a small spatula until it's a nice thick paste. It's called a slurry. Now I'll add the slurry into the boiling mixture. If I added the cornstarch directly to this liquid, it would clump up. Okay, and now I'm going to stir and we're going to bring the liquid back up to a boil and boil until it's thickened and the juices are clear. Just like that. It's worth noting that the apples will not be fully cooked at this stage and will continue to cook in the oven with the crust. So we'll let this filling cool while we work on the crust. In the galette episode, we learned how to roll out the pie dough into a nice round. For a two crust pie, you're gonna do the same thing, just twice. It's easy to get the dough into the pie plate just use your rolling pin. We're going to very gently roll the dough around the pin. No pressure on this. And then we're going to lift it up. And now you're just going to slowly, again, there's no rush here, slowly unfurl the rolled dough into the pie plate. And now I'm just making sure that my pie dough is centered and I'm going to start fitting it into the pie plate using the side of my index finger, not my nails, to gently press into the bottom corner. And now we're going to make sure that it's Dough is pressed against the sides, and that looks good. And now I'm going to take my cooled pie filling and pile it right into the center of my pie shell, scraping out all those good thickened juices. Be careful not to press too hard on the apples because you wouldn't want to pierce through the dough. Now we're going to brush the bottom crust with a little bit of water. As you can see, I'm just brushing the excess dough. This is going to help our top crust to adhere. And now we're ready for our top crust. We're going to use the rolling pin, just like we did with the bottom crust, to position the top crust. Again, we're rolling very loosely, gently, and lifting off the parchment. Again, there's no rush. There's no need to panic. You've got plenty of time. And then once again, unfurl the dough right on top of your filling, just like that. And now we're going to press together the top and bottom crust and then trim off the excess. We're going to leave about a half an inch to roll under to form our crimp. I use a kitchen shears. You can use a paring knife if you'd like. And now we're ready to crimp. We're going to roll the top and bottom crust together underneath and let it sit right on top of the edge of the pie plate. 
This gives the pie crust a really good seal. I like to do a really simple crimp around a pie crust. It's easy. I just use three fingers, two on one side and one on the other, and just very gently press. It's not really a pinch. It's more of a push. Again, I'm making sure to keep that nice rolled double crust on top of the edge of the pie plate. There we go. I like to brush the top crust with some heavy cream. You can also use an egg wash, which is a combination of a whole egg and a tablespoon of water mixed together. That will give the crust a nice shiny appearance. I like the heavy cream. It adds flavor as well as more of a matte finish. Make sure to get the crimping edges too. And now I'm going to sprinkle over some crushed sugar cubes. It adds crunch and sparkle to the finished pie. And finally, I'm going to use my paring knife to cut slits in the top crust to allow the steam to escape while it's baking. You want to be sure to have at least three. We're going to bake the pie on the middle rack in a 425 degree oven. As you can see, underneath it, we have a foil lined jelly roll pan to catch any drippings. Bake the pie until it's nice and golden brown and the apples are tender when you pierce them with a knife. It'll take about 55 minutes. If the pie starts to brown too much while it's baking, you can tent it with a piece of foil and let it continue cooking. 